All right, you're watching DefenseReview.com. I'm here with Mark Basiak from PNW Arms, and we're going to talk about uh, the uh, multi-environment ammunition and uh, and some other things here. So, uh, actually, maybe just in this first video, we'll just talk about this. Uh, that would be great, David. Okay. So we actually have a couple things that we can actually demonstrate today. First of all, it's very important to note that these are actually production samples, which means they are 100% very compliant, made in the USA, ready to ship domestically and worldwide. Right. We're looking at this as part of a fused project. Between part, of, part of a fused project between PNW Arms and DSG. Gotcha. Now, what makes this round very interesting is the uh, the engineers at DSG have done a fantastic job of creating what's called multiple environment ammunition, or MEA. The MEA comes in two variants. So, one of the variants that we'll show you, this is a 762 by 51. This is called a GPS. Now, the GPS is a solid copper round that can actually penetrate water and then swim for 15 meters and then hit a target. If you think about that, if you try to fire a conventional 762 in the water, it'll probably swim for about ooh, two feet, and then it'll dump all of its energy and fall to the ground. Right. So to be able to go 15 meters and then hit a target is pretty is pretty significant. Right. And now, GPS stands for? That's a great question. General, general Purpose Super Cavitating Round. <laughs> okay, General Purpose Super Super Cavitating Round. Try saying that 50 times in a row. That's why I paused. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. All right, and now we're going to say DCS stands for? Dual Core Super Cavitating. Dual Core Super Cavitating Round, which goes out to 30 yards or 30, 30 meters? 30, 30 meters. 30 meters. Yep, so now this one right here is the very similar to the, the GPS. Right. So if you notice that the dimensions look very similar. Right, but one the, is using a tungsten. Correct. This is actually using a tungsten top and penetrator. Right. Uh, the cool thing about this is it's double the distance underwater. So this will go 15 meters and this will swim for 30 meters. Yeah. Uh, the nice thing about the super cavitation effect is actually what it does uh, from a terminal perspective when it hits its intended target. Target. So underwater, and when you're trying to go for any type of soft targets, the thing that's going to uh, disable the target is called uh, has to do with something called hydrostatic shock. Right. It's not the wound channel. The wound channel is just how far that you can extend or release all the blood. Right. Now what we want to do here is if you get uh, uh, if this actually does penetration with the soft tissue, what will end up happening is that supercavitation effect will continue inside of the body. So what you're looking at is a massive pressure wave that will internally build up. And because of the way that uh, most creatures are majority water from a composition, you can imagine that those effects are, are terminal. Interesting. All right, so that's pretty much it on that, right? That is it on that. All right, DefenseReview.com. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you very much, David. All right.